Oh boy, I'm really doing this, huh? Planker, a cocky, swung person who is slightly less worse compared to his TF2 counterpart, but the manifestation of everything you want to hit in the face. But anyways, this video is going to cover the stereotypes that Planker has around his weapons and what people would generally think about you when they see you using a certain weapon. Anyways, I have to include this that this video does not represent everybody, so don't get mad if your weapon gets a bad reputation. Alright? Good. Let's get started. Lots of players with low and high school rank use this. It's next to impossible to pin down a certain stereotype since everybody basically uses this. But I will be able to give you sort of a general idea of people who use this weapon. First you've got the rookie. These guys just found the game and entered the game clueless. They might not know what to do or they don't know what to do about funds, half weapons, or hats. But they are stuck with stock for now so once they get more funds to buy other weapons they will probably stop using it at some point. And now we have the other type of flanker who can tell that stock is one of the best primary weapons for most situations and that you shouldn't use another weapon just since you bought it in the shop. Which if you see this you can see that they're at least competent enough of the game to actually use this. at the snack bar you better relax bob there is no way that you could have been as bad at hockey as you are at golf all right let's go I'm a piece of you i want the whole thing These people using this weapon have a habit of running towards you, missing both their shots, and then running away backwards, not looking back, then reloading, watch, rinse, repeat. Most of the time, it doesn't well end for them. People who use the shortstop are trying to deal with the enemy team that has a lot of high DPS classes such as Arsonist and Brute for example. They use the shortstop as a way to deal somewhat high DPS at medium to far range since both those classes can shred Franker into pieces at close range. Or you're just like me and you're just more comfortable with this weapon since you don't have to load each shell into the lever shotgun every time you shoot and rather just reload the entire clip afterwards. Come on, man, knock it off. What? Yeah. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah. These people love to move around quickly and annoy the hell out of the enemy team, mainly marksmen. Probably one of the better weapons as long as you're competent enough to get kills with this thing. Also, if you have to go against one of these guys, damaging him won't make his speed or boost meter go away. So even if you die leaving him on low health, he'll still be able to run away to another health pack, including that he managed to kill you, just filled up his speed meter, meter even more. So it's dealing with a bug that never leaves you alone, basically. This person who uses this weapon is a competent Empire DB user, but since nobody uses this weapon, there really isn't a definitive answer. Maybe they like annoying creepers, so it's much harder to aim for them, but it's really up for grabs. <laughs> But seriously, I don't know. Why would you use this weapon to begin with? It's a really bad weapon even though on paper it sounds great. You get mini crits for flanking the enemy using your high mobility, shooting in their backs in exchange for slower firing speed, and less pellets coming out of the gun. Even though on battle it barely lives up to anything at all. It can mainly be found in new players who just first started the game. Maybe they like crits. Who knows? Discount Ammo Hog same stereotype as the perceptionist. I guess these people lose a lot of ammo? This weapon really isn't that great and literally any other weapon than this is better than this piece of junk since this thing has a 20% slower firing rate and the 15% damage penalty at the cost of having two more shells than stock. Also the fact using a rechargeable weapon like the Bloxy Cola takes 20% lo longer to recharge. Only interesting thing about this weapon is being able to load three shells automatically when you successfully use a rechargeable weapon. So maybe pairing this with the rich, richest group can somewhat compensate for this? Maybe? This is one of the best flanker secondaries hands down, since you get a 50% increase in jump height when you're holding this weapon, while or you're melee. 
making an extremely great mobility tool for flankers, which all people with skill levels use this weapon, so, but if you find a competent flanker, they can be terrifying to fight against since they can basically drop out of nowhere, or these people bought it since they saw it had a 15% damage increase and don't know what it does in actuality. These people are just begging for someone on their team to go medic in the most passive-aggressive way possible. That's basically it. These people who bought it thinking they could do the Sandman Cleaver combo from Team Fortress 2 from back in the day, but nope, it almost guarantees they end up dying since the ball stunning you won't make you defenseless, just only making you move slower, and including the fact that the ball's stun time depends on how long he travels, which most of them run towards you at close range, makes them easy food to farm points and funds from, or they stem it and become annoying to deal with in general. These people hate fighting arsonists, and some might use the candy cane in conjunction to put out the fire and heal a tiny bit with a small medkit afterwards to fill back the health they lost fighting him. Maybe they like supporting their team, but it's usually for fighting the one arsonist who keeps killing them with afterburn. Still another fairly popular secondary for flankers, but these people overestimate their power and when they use this weapon, and as the power or heavy, it's pretty fun to shred these guys to pieces, and with them only being vulnerable to mini crits, it's satisfying when you damage them, with the sweet sounds of them shutting down. These people are absolutely going for taunt kills, there really isn't anything else to explain about this secondary. They will mainly try to tar target tunnel vision snipers who aren't paying attention, that's basically it. And if you see them, they're about to taunt kill your clueless little local slanker, at the very least you should let them finish, then kill them. Well, some people use this as a get get out of jail free card or as a mobility, but that's incredibly rare to see in battle normally, so take that as you will. These people are only memeing or they heard or saw that this was garbage and wanted to see for themselves. That's basically it, like the secondary is just terrible to begin with, although some people who use their parent with the baby face blaster to compensate for its terrible stats, so I guess they get the benefit of being able to move and jump slightly better at the cost of a pistol, but who am I to judge? Same thing as the stock lever shotgun, these pretty people can pretty much be anyone. The people who use this weapon are almost always the new player who just started playing the game for the first time. I can say- I can more than safely say that anyone who has played the game for more than a few hours doesn't use this weapon anymore. Or unless people start using this weapon again just to prove this wrong. Or you're a stock purist. Same as the Mad and Milk stereotype, these guys hate fighting that one arsonist who keeps killing them with afterburn. But the downside is that you lose a ton of primary and secondary ammo, which so you're basically playing for health instead of ammo, which is could be great if you're competent enough, but it's really up to you since barely anyone uses this. Hey you, yeah you, do you want to use the stock bat but don't want to be called a noob? Well the holy mackerel is the weapon for you since this thing shares the exact same stats as the stock so you could be using a funny version of the bat without having to deal with someone calling you a noob. Using this weapon lets everyone know on the server that you're a memer and you shouldn't be taken seriously at all. For crying out loud, you're trying to beat someone to death with a fish. Since this weapon is just a reskin of the stock bat, you have two options, the dull standard bat or use the funny looking fish to kill someone, someone with. Which one of them being the much more superior and funnier option, which can sometimes be com seen combined with the witch's brute just to make it easier, but they always end up dying before getting in range to hit you. These people think they will be impossible to hit, with the third jump being constantly used, so it's pretty, pretty easy to predict where they're going to land on the ground. But also, since they lose 10 health when they triple jump, they will start to become easy food for your weapons if they jump too much in combat, or these guys like using the bat version of the winger. This person is either a comp player or clueless, but it's a wide variety in the game. And some other people use it to help build superchargers with their doctors, but since doctors are an endangered species in this game, I really don't know. Sorry. Now the Three Rune Blade is one of the rarest things in this game since it was only accidentally released for only a day before being removed permanently, but the people who bought it got to keep it. But the strange thing is, it was originally a reskin of the Brooklyn Basher, but when you try to use it in a game, its stats turn into, turns into a wooden sword, with its stats instead of the Brooklyn Basher stats. So there is a very small number of people who have this weapon, so it's basically almost non-existent. There really isn't a stereotype here. Maybe at the least they're semi-competent, typically they could be also be collectors. It probably has the same search up as the Brooklyn Bashers, but I really don't know, sorry. These people overestimate how good this weapon is when they saw it gives mini crits when you hit someone with it and they almost die whenever they fight someone. Or this person forgot to switch loadouts on playing on a boss server before joining a normal server. It's one of the two. I know this is short, but basically nobody else uses this including people who want to go on a meme rampage. Nobody even bothers to use this weapon, so I can't think of a stereotype. Maybe they like comboing with an arsonist, or using the shuriken in this weapon to create an annoying combo flanker. I really don't know. Sorry. 
people who use this think they are the gods of the game with this weapon because of its stun time, but it won't do squat against that brute main, which since you lose 15 health using this weapon, you're basically being free points for the other team to farm off of, and vice versa. They can also be seen seen with the 6 point shuriken, or the Lupar DB sometimes with the paperboy hat on. Discount Sandman I've seen one or two competent flankers ever use this weapon. These people usually try to annoy the hell out of you with bleed from long range, especially snipers in some cases. Where you're just like me and spam the shuriken and this weapon to be Satan on the server since both these weapons' bleed times are just always painful to deal with. And their bleed time and damage are separate so good luck trying to survive if there aren't any medkits around. And don't even try to melee someone with this since it does 65% less damage if you try to melee them. It's basically trying to stab someone to death with a stick of butter so take that in and has, has however you want. And that's it, all of Flanker's weapons, and now before people mention that I forgot the pistols and other weapons, I'll be covering that in a different episode, the multi-class episode, sooner or later, if that's what you people want, and that's pretty much all it is. Thanks for watching, I'll see you people later next time.